I'm afraid that yesterday afternoon's cheers for Our Lady Stone Crab were premature. I'm sorry to say that when I came in this morning, I found that she had expired overnight and she was not able to make it out of her old exoskeleton. She did not suffocate. I'm not sure exactly what the cause of death is. It may just have been from stress and giving up. One thing I observed is that if you observe right here where I'm pointing, the flesh is still attached to the old exoskeleton. Now, during the molting process, the animal forms a skin connected to the old exoskeleton and that skin has to separate from the inside of the exoskeleton. Now that apparent that of course happened here as we can see uh, because the carapace was I was able to remove the carapace with no problem but when we get down here she's still attached. It's quite possible and when I all right it's not attached there but when I you can't see this let me turn it let me see if you can see I'm finding that in this area here there is no separation of the skin of her new skin from the old exoskeleton that is still attached she was not able to separate I'm finding let's see here I'm finding the same thing here exoskeleton and the new skin and this is in here I'm looking down let me tilt this I'm looking down in here let me see if there's separation I can see down below you probably can't that there is not separation what we have is a crab that was trapped my guess that extends on down into the legs also she simply my guess is wore herself out trying to extricate herself from this exoskeleton it's a disappointment but it's life or death if you will it happens so today uh, we've got low tide around 1030 I'll be putting a sign on the door of the estuarium saying I'll be back in half an hour or so nature absorbs a vacuum and at the estuarium we have half a condo sitting empty right now and I will be going down and collecting a new stone crab to occupy it. So that's that.